them. I was a fucking hero around my manor then. Hey, Daggers, he's on fucking top of the pops tonight. He's on top of their fucking done it, you know. Watch by probably about fucking 10 million people, whatever, 15 million people. My whole thing was really putting my manor on what I believed, like, on the map, which I think was a big ideal of punk, which a lot of them did, especially the more political ones like The Clash. And the only way we could put that on the map was I wanted Custom House to beat with the four. I was so proud of it. And obviously West Ham United. I didn't give a fuck so for, like, for politics. So when 1980 came and we was lucky to get to the final again, that was our point of always want to do a punk version of Bubbles. But now you've actually got something which justifies you doing it because you're in the cup final with how the band was flying at the time. We got approached uh, by MI to do it. I made them wanted to do it, but we, we fucked them off. We're the proper West Ham geezers here. I mean, couldn't imagine some cunt with a light owl bottle down his fucking shorts wobbling over bubbles, could you? Like, you know, well, I couldn't. We had all the uh, my bods in there singing around the microphone, you know, and trying to keep the posher voices to the back. And we recorded it, like, knowing that he was going to fucking chart. I knew that after rip off. From that moment on, everything was claret and blue. We had the uh, FA Cup final in 1980. And top of the pops again, where we were very, very drunk. We'd done a lot of wrong things that day. They sort of, like, said, you can go up to the bar, if you like, and have a drink. Well, that's the worst thing they could have said to us lot, because we was absolutely gattered. Been falling ass over tit, you know what I mean? I didn't know what day of the week it was. We was all well mulled, been in the green room and probably got on it. I think come about four o'clock in the afternoon, we was delivered these West Ham shirts by our manager, fucking manager, that's a good one, like, and uh, he fucked off. So all our dough's gone in the bar and we're fucked. So we're getting more and more out of it, but, like, wanting a cold destruction and arm. And I remember there was a band called the Lambrettas, some dopey mud band. And they had some little fuck-off, jerk-off manager with them. But no arm in. As we were crossing down the stairs, like that, someone sang that stupid song they had, Poison Ivy or something, and he went, they're a lot bigger than you boys, who the fuck are you? And all that. That's the red rag with ball. I thought... He's got to fucking have some, that cunt. He don't verbal us. Then someone, like, clocked hold of him. I don't know, and they stuck a cutthroat up his... up his Gregory. Like, and they said to him, like, you fucking cunt. He was, like, just to frighten him, we'd never have used it. And then the UK subs were playing as well. So we bundled over at their stage and got at the side of the stage, and we knew them. We started going fucking mad on the fucking strangling each other, throwing each other over and everything. Now I think one of the producers said, who the fuck are that lot? And one of them said, that's one of the bands who were performing. <laughs> and that was, a, that was a brilliant day, you know. We sort of had a little running with legs and co, tried to get into their dressing room, kicked the door down, got warned about that. Uh, I think someone else got a clump, a member of another band. But that's the way we was. We was young fucking, like, hooligans. And after that, we got banned off Top of the Pops. Don't ever come back to the BBC. <laughs> Looking back, it was a fucking death wish. You know, because if it had been like a band from fucking Leeds or Manchester or whatever taking their feet, you know, they would have got the same as what happened to us. That really was, in many ways, the beginning of the end of the first phase because that's it, we were forever linked with West Ham. B-side, as you know, was West Side Boy. 